Anaphylaxis is an emergency condition wherein the body reacts to an allergen within seconds of exposure. Bee stings, nuts, latex, venom, chemotherapeutic agents and other medications are some of the common causes of anaphylactic reactions. During anaphylaxis, the immune system is triggered to release chemicals that it perceives to be effective in eliminating the allergen from the body. However, this flood of chemical substances, such as histamine, can cause the body to enter a state of anaphylactic shock, which is indicated by a huge drop in blood pressure level, called hypotension, as well as skin rash, nausea and vomiting, and a rapid but weak pulse. The anaphylactic reaction can last up to 30 minutes. In rare cases, the signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis last for days. Anaphylaxis can be life-threatening and requires immediate medical intervention, which may include injecting epinephrine to counter the effects of anaphylactic shock. The patient may need to be treated in an emergency room as he or she would likely require intravenous fluid therapy and other medications and procedures. Signs and Symptoms of Anaphylaxis The following are the signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis, which can be observed within seconds or minutes following allergen exposure. 1. Hypotension, blood pressure level suddenly drops. 2. Edema, swelling of the lips, periorbital area, skin around the eyes, tongue, or the larynx, throat. 3. Central cyanosis, bluish discoloration of the lips. 4. Difficulty of breathing or shortness of breath airways become constricted as the tongue and or throat become swollen. 5. Cough. 6. Wheezing, if the airways are severely constricted. 7. Skin reactions rash, hives, pruritus or itching, pale or flushed skin. 8. Tachycardia, the pulse becomes rapid but is weak. 9. Syncope, fainting or dizziness. 10. Feeling of impending doom or dread. 11. Nausea and vomiting. 12. Diarrhea, occurs sometimes due to edematous episodes in the gastrointestinal regions. 13. Uterine cramps. It is also important to note that the above signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis may be evident 30 minutes or more after allergen exposure due to delayed body reaction. Types of anaphylaxis. The following are the types of anaphylaxis based on severity. 1. Mild anaphylaxis, evidenced by variable wheezing, minor or mild shortness of breath, and able to speak in sentences. 2. Moderate anaphylaxis, evidenced by moderate to loud wheezing, apparent shortness of breath, and able to speak in short sentences of phrases only. 3. Severe anaphylaxis, evidenced by anxiety, syncope, severe shortness of breath, and able to speak in a few words or unable to speak at all. Causes and risk factors of anaphylaxis. The body's immune system has the primary function to protect it against foreign substances, which is important in the preservation of the body against pathogens. However, Substances that do not normally trigger an allergic reaction may cause the immune system to overreact. The following are the five common triggers of anaphylaxis. 1. Foods. Nuts, seafood, fish and shellfish. Eggs, milk, usually cow's milk, fruits. 2. Stings of insects, such as bees and wasps. 3. Medications, includes antimicrobials such as antibiotics and antifungals, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, anesthetics, and chemotherapeutic drugs such as doxorubicin and oxaliplatin. 4. Latex, usually found in items that contain rubber, such as gloves and condoms. Hence, many of these products have now been changes and marketed as latex-free. 5. Contrast dyes, used during diagnostic procedures such as CT scan. If there is no apparent allergen that has triggered the anaphylactic reaction, the event is called idiopathic anaphylaxis. Diagnosis of anaphylaxis. 1. Patient interview, to check for allergy history, including allergies and previous reactions to them. 2. Physical exam, to check for the signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis and their severity. 3. Blood test. To verify the amount of tryptase, an enzyme which can have elevated serum levels up to three hours following an anaphylactic episode. 4. Skin tests. If the trigger is unknown, skin tests may be done to help identity the allergen. 
Treatment for anaphylaxis. 1. Call for help. 1. The first thing to do is to call 911 for emergency medical assistance outside a medical facility. 1. When inside the hospital, staff follows hospital protocols during anaphylaxis, which may include verbally calling others for help and or pressing the emergency button. 1. If the patient is unconscious, perform CPR and other first aid procedures. 1. Elevate the legs while the patient is lying down to help manage hypotension. 2. Epinephrine or adrenaline. 2. This medication is part of the first-line treatment to reverse the effect of anaphylaxis. 2. It is usually available in pens or auto-injectors, which make it easier to administer on the thigh area not only by medical professionals but even civilians and bystanders. 3. Oxygen therapy. 3. Oxygen is another part of the first-line treatment for anaphylaxis, as the patient will usually manifest ineffective airway clearance and difficulty of breathing. 3. A non rebreather mask is commonly the first device used to deliver oxygen during an anaphylactic episode. 4. Medications. 4. Other medications that may be administered include. 5. Intravenous antihistamines and steroids, to suppress the immune as well as inflammatory responses of the body to the allergens. Steroids help reduce edema on the airways, hence improving the patient's ability to breathe. 6. Beta agonists, to regain normal breathing capacity. 7. Antiemetics, to treat nausea and vomiting. 8. Intravenous fluids, to manage hypotension and normalize blood pressure levels. 9. Bronchodilators, to treat constricted airways.